Gainesville City Manager, and uh, I've had a, a unique and really enjoyable experience over the last few months of uh, going through a process of a search for a new police chief. Uh, I will say that uh, of all the department head positions I've filled during my tenure, uh, both in Gainesville and in other local governments, this has been the most interest of our community for any position I've filled. Uh, people from all walks of life, all parts of the community have uh, come up to me and asked me, who's going to be the new chief? You know, and uh, you know, giving me their ideas, their suggestions, and uh, I've actually very much welcomed that because it shows a real commitment of our community uh, to our public safety process and to recognizing how important the Gainesville Police Department is to our quality of life as a community. Uh, some of you have been actively involved uh, over this uh, two, three month time period and know that uh, it's been an exhaustive process. Uh, we have uh, you know, reviewed uh, candidates. We had 93 candidates apply for the position. Uh, we did interview five candidates that were highly qualified. Uh, and the process has really been good for me, both looking externally at what uh, other people have to offer and internally is what our people in Gainesville have to offer. And I'm pleased today to announce that I have selected Tony Jones, who has been serving as our interim police chief, as the new Gainesville police chief. Tony brings a tremendous amount to the city of Gainesville. Uh, first and foremost, he is an individual with unquestionable integrity. Uh, he's previously served at all levels in Gainesville Police Department, starting out as a cadet, an explorer cadet, uh, as a teenager, working his way up through police officer, uh, through corporal, through sergeant, through lieutenant, uh, retiring as a captain in 2004. Uh, one of the hallmarks of Tony's career has really been his community engagement and he is willing to listen and work with his officers and members of the city of Gainesville community. Uh, many of you may know that uh, Tony was a co-founder of the Rikert House, one of the most successful community policing youth engagement programs in the nation. As a matter of fact, we'll soon be receiving a national award from the International Association of Chiefs of Police for the Rikert House. As I was reaching this decision, as, as was noted earlier, we looked outside, we looked at some of the top candidates in the nation. Uh, these individuals had a lot to offer, but they also gave me someone to bounce those experiences that those candidates brought to bear against the folks that are here in Gainesville. And as I looked at what's needed for the Gainesville Police Department, how we can continue to grow public safety in our community, uh, I came to realize that Tony really filled all the needs that we have as a community. Some of my criteria were a person first with uh, exceptional integrity, someone who was committed to community engagement and engagement of the department, who would listen to uh, people in the department and our people and people in our neighborhoods and someone who has a vision of what are the next steps that we need to take to continue to make the Gainesville Police Department the best department in the nation. Uh, I am pleased to say that Tony has all of those abilities and more. And with that, Chief Jones, you're on. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Blackburn, for uh, this, for this particular point. Uh, I look forward to serving uh, the citizens of this community as well as the men and women of the Gainesville Police Department. Uh, I plan to work both externally and internally uh, to devise strategies uh, to enhance our delivery services, uh, both internal and external, as far as Gainesville is concerned. This is a partnership. This is a partnership between my office internally with the men and women that have served in the Gainesville Police Department, both sworn and civilian, as well as those in the community. Uh, I will do my best uh, to not let this community or the city of Gainesville down, and I look forward to the challenges that lie before.
or questions? Well, I think that right now is a pivotal time for the Gainesville Police Department. We have the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives that I've been working very closely with that is looking at the Gainesville Police Department, uh, both internally and externally, and, and they're going to come up with some uh, solutions uh, or, or some recommendations that uh, we hope to implement. And since I was a part of that particular process, I want to make sure that I uh, be there to see that some of those plans be implemented. <coughs> Gainesville Police Department has a very talented staff, and I think this is a great community to serve. Is there any timeline for how long you'll be serving as chief at this point? Well, Chief Jones has uh, provided me a firm commitment of 12 months. Uh, prior to the end of that 12-month period, we'll get together and talk about uh, how the job is fitting for the chief, whether he's, he's liking it. And uh, you know, I certainly anticipate, based on everything I've seen, that we'll be uh, wanting to move forward, uh, but we'll have a conversation and, and move forward at that point. Is Major Hanna going to continue in his current role? Yeah. It certainly is. Yeah. Chief, one, of the, uh, one of the great things about being the Gainesville Police Chief is you get to make those personnel decisions, and Chief Jones will be able to determine what is the, what's the right mix of his people and uh, yeah, I'm glad that I get to back away a little bit from the police department now and let uh, Tony take over. Is there anything specific um, that Noble has, has come forward with that, that you'd like to see implemented soon? They haven't came back with uh, their recommendations as of yet. I think it's going to be somewhere around December. Okay. Yes. Uh, what are some strategies you're going to implement or um, keep the same, keep things all safe as a community? That differ from your other, um, from the previous Gainesville Police Chief, or can you turn it differently? This is something that, again, that I'll be working with the community as well as the uh, men and women of the Gainesville Police Department, both sworn and civilian, to devise those particular strategies. I don't think right now it would be the time to say, well, I'm going to do this or that uh, in that response. I think, uh, and, and Chief Jones is, is right on target. One of the one of the things that I've observed, you know, for his style and his approach to as a leader, is that he does reach out, talk to people, listen to people, both in his department, you know, and in the community, and that's you know really going to be crucial for us, you know, to solve problems together. And one of the you know Tony uh, has a has a, a motto that he you know says that involved not only uh, to protect and serve. But in partnership with the community, and uh, the first time I heard Tony say that, you know, the lights just went off for me. Is that's really crucial to us as a, a public safety agency? Is we can't do it by ourselves. We have to have partnerships within our department and with our community. And I, uh, uh, I was very impressed with that. Tony, that was kind of imprinted on Tony's uh, psyche, and it just it flows very naturally when you talk to him. So. What do you see as your largest challenge moving forward? Probably the largest challenge would be to make sure that I reach out to a broad section of the community uh, to gather the input uh, and, and, and forging those partnerships with the community and from an agency standpoint of view in addressing the crime that we have in this community. What do you think your greatest strengths as a candidate was? Why were you? What do you think your greatest strengths as a police chief today? I think partnerships, forming partnerships both internally and externally. And when were you informed that you would be selected as chief, or and or when did you agree? Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> both to both. <laughs> <laughs> 